Hello, America. Now, normally, you're watching a Glenn Beck video and you'd think, oh, this is going to be a bummer. I know. The, the world's on fire, right? But today is different. We're going to start with some good news, and then I'm going to give you a giant fire extinguisher that you're going to, it'll blow your mind. So don't go anywhere. First, this message from our British sponsor. We've all had a tough year. The cost of living crisis. Pandemic not long gone. And now, a recession. So this Christmas, come to one of our stores and spend the last of your money on a load of sh** you don't need. Yeah, fill your boots with plastic crap that'll be in a landfill before the end of year. Oh, and buy some mince pies as well. You like mince pies, don't you, you fat p Where else are you gonna go? Your local shop. They've all closed. Because of us. We've got you by the balls. So look at this final image, listen to the music, feel all Christmassy, and give us your money. Supermarkets. Pretending to care. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, I'll, let me give you two things that I think are uh, tremendous that, yeah, because it was late last night and my wife is in Florida, so I'm in bed scrolling, looking at things, and I saw two things that I just love. One, this is, I didn't get it on TikTok because I don't use TikTok, those Chinese bastards. Uh, this is actually, I saw this uh, on Instagram and... I thought it was fun, but what I really wanted to show you was what people can do when they collaborate, even if they're not around. I love this new trend where somebody does something and then people add to it. Watch this. I'm your muffin man. You're my muffin girl. Let's get together and we'll see the muffin world In a car, in a plane We can muffin every day Always, forever in our little muffin tray You're my muffin man I'm your muffin girl Throw in some chocolate chips, why not give it a whirl Grab a bus or a train We can meet on Drury Lane Grow all together in a fluffy muffin world why I love that that first the guy with the clarinet was like this is my chance and then after seeing the clarinet the guy's like I can whistle I can whistle I'll be a star finally everybody gets their 15 minutes of fame and I just loved it um and then there's this I'm sorry but I have a whole collection of these that you know on bad days which never happen with me on bad days, I will go home and I will just watch these kinds of clips uh, because I, I watch them all day. This is a baby hearing its mom's voice for the first time. Watch this. Hi. <laughs> Are you emotional? You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, are you gonna be emotional like your mama? Yeah. You're so sweet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Just so great. Just so great. When I was a kid, I should say it this way, when I was in my 20s, the last thing I wanted were children. Uh, and, and then I had children, they were wonderful, uh, too. And then I was like, no more. And I have four. And 
as the years go by, I mean this sincerely, I wish I had 10. It is the only thing in life that matters um, because of those moments that just refuel you all the time. All right, um, I'm going to give you a fire extinguisher for the world here in, uh, in just a second. But first, I have to do some sponsorships. Um, My Patriot Supply is our sponsor. They um, help you deal with the unthinkable. It's one of our most uh, trusted, for me, sponsors. It is also uh, a, it's the largest and best um, food supply company that is a uh, preparedness company that is, I think, not only in the United States, but I bet it's in the world. They are equipped to stock your shelves. Best-selling three-month emergency food kit, delicious breakfast, lunch, dinner, lasts up to 25 years. It includes drinks and snacks and everything else. Right now, it's $200 off. You want to be prepared for whatever could happen. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what could happen? Eh, the whole world is so stable. Uh, call them right now. Go to mypatriotsupply.com, mypatriotsupply.com. $200 savings. Order by three, and your order will ship the same day. Do it now. Uh, My Patriot Supply. Now, one of the things. And I think this sponsor would like you to know that every bit of clothing I'm wearing, they had nothing to do, they had nothing to do with. Uh, I mean, I dressed in the dark. Okay. That's the God's honest truth. Um, Now, my sponsor of American Giant is one of my favorite sponsors because I love, I love the guy who started it. I love the reason why he started it. Um, He just believes in America and American ingenuity and, and that built in America not only means something, quality, et cetera, et cetera, but it also restores the communities. It restores all of the stores that are in town where there is a big factory. Uh, And so when one of the clothing factories went out of business and was gonna close down, he went in and rescued uh, that factory, uh, retooled it all. In fact, went and got the old machines that we used to use in the 60s to make those great sweatshirts that we used to have. They don't make them. Try on Champion now. It's not the same. It's because we sold all the machines to Japan. We don't make anything like it. And those machines are the only kinds that can make these sweatshirts. He brought them back from Japan for this factory and then retrained everybody on them. They make the best sweatshirts. I just got a pair of their pants the other day. they're, They're fabulous clothing, really. Go to American Giant. You're looking for something American under your tree today. Find the greatest American clothing, 100%, even the ink, the dye, everything from America. It's American-Giant.com uh, slash Glenn. All right. Paul Allen it was on with me two weeks ago, uh, and I showed this, and the response to it has been remarkable. And I think... Um, it's because this is an absolute game changer. It's one thing to say, you gotta, you gotta go to your city council meeting. You gotta go to your, your school district meetings and, and you get involved and then you, you know what Congress is doing. You know what's happening in the state legislature? No, I work for a living and then I come home and my children are on fire because they can be whatever they want, including a Bambi. So, no, I really don't have time. But there are things that interest all of us that we need to know about. So how do you keep up with it? I want to introduce Paul Allen, tech entrepreneur and the founder of Citizen Portal. How are you? Glenn, good to 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 meet you. Yeah. So, um, first of all, you have experience in this kind of stuff. You're the guy who started, um, what was the website? Ancestry.com. Ancestry.com. and so you, you, you know about building big uh, systems. Um, and what you've done here, I think this is the first technology that I think is now using the power that technology has given us the right way. You know, television, our founders would say, if we could beam things into people's houses, they'd be so informed. Nope. 
This is the first time I think somebody is actually showing something that is easy to use, will focus on the things I want it to focus on. It costs me no time. It's fantastic. Explain what Citizen Portal is. Well, thank you, Glenn, for having me on. I do love this country. I love our history. I love our unique founding. The principles of the Constitution are sacred and en enabled this country with its ingenuity and its diverse population to, to outperform every other country in the history of the world. So what is our role as a citizen in the United States? I've been asking people for about a year, you consider yourself a good citizen? And the immediate answer is, yeah, I vote. Well, when I voted in Missouri, Northwest Missouri uh, in 2022, I went to the ballot box, I got my voter sticker, I put it on my car uh, dashboard, and then I realized I really almost knew none of the candidates. It's a rural area. I just yeah. moved there. There were 30 or 40 people I was voting for, and I'm like super embarrassed. I've got that sticker on my, on my steering wheel sure. to remind me that I'm never going to go into a ballot box again without knowing exactly where each person stands on the issues I care about. Can I, can the, I tell you something? I've had that exact experience multiple times, even though I, I think I'm really informed. You, you're not all the time, especially in state and local. And you've got some that you really know a lot about. And then you sit and they, they keep coming and you're like, okay, I don't know. And you're like, mm, that one. And when you asked if you were a good citizen, my first thought was, not really, because I'm not as informed as I should be. And I'm a pretty informed guy. The average person goes in there blind. Yeah, 100% agree. And so with the power of video and audio recordings and with the cost of transcription coming down, I mean, when Ancestry.com started, we knew it was going to be expensive to put billions, tens of billions of genealogical records on the Internet. It wasn't going to be an easy thing mm, to yeah. do. But 25 years later, it's a phenomenal resource for all humanity to find their family stories. Well, this country needs badly a database of every word spoken by every public servant in every public meeting, and it's, we're on the path to do that. We're in the early days. This is one year, less than one year old. Yeah. If you go back to the Wayback Machine and look at Ancestry.com's website in 1997 and yeah. you will laugh, I, I promise. I bet. I did the logo design, and it is literally, I've never seen a worse logo design. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're not at that embarrassing right. uh, at citizenportal.ai, but what's coming is very exciting because every person is a citizen of your city, your county, your state. We live under constitutions. Uh, there's state constitutional conventions. There have been over 230 of them in the history of our country. We've got partnerships coming with Oxford University, Utah Valley University, to create a constitution GPT that understands the framework of laws for the United States of America as well as the state you live in. State constitutions occasionally get amended and then the cities and counties and school districts all have to comply. None of us has any clue about all of those things, but AI can be trained on all the right documents, on all the right source material, and on all the current documents and words being spoken by our elected officials. So for the first time, I think, in American history, anyone who wants to be informed can be informed very quickly uh, before they vote and as they participate in issues they care about. So I just have to tell you, um, as a viewer, that um, here's the problem with these kinds of things. This is going to get rid of all the excuse. So it's like when I join my faith it i was like exploring different faiths and exploring everything and i and then i found you know the miracle of baptism and i knew it to be true and real and powerful and then i realized oh crap i know that to be true i know those things so now i'm going to be held really responsible for it this is something that will get all the excuses for not standing up, not knowing what's happening in your country. It's all gone. Um, and soon it will be in all, hopefully, all of the local levels uh, of government. So take me through the site. Well, let me tell you the twofold purpose of the site as okay. the founders of it envision. Number one, 
is that I was reading about Boss Tweed and Tammany Hall corruption. Yeah. Uh, I come from Missouri, or I live in Missouri now, where the governor of Missouri, uh, Holy Joe uh, Folk, was the governor from 1904. He was the big anti-corruption fighter in all the, it, there, there have been a lot of uh, big corruption stories in the United States from our founding. Mm -hmm. And without eternal vigilance, we're gonna keep getting more of that. So yeah. having AI, help you find things that aren't, doesn't smell right, doesn't look right. Maybe somebody's brother-in-law is getting a big contract with the city or the state. Like when spending data is available too, there will be not only transcripts, but data to help us as citizens make sure that the fiduciary responsibility of our elected officials are being mm -hmm. held sacred. Number two, and I'm more excited about this, Glenn, I think we live in a beautiful country with amazing people that are doing inspired things all the time. And there are local programs that work, that help childhood literacy uh, expand, that reduce uh, loneliness. There are programs that cities have tested with uh, microtransit instead of public transit, saving money. There are programs in Fort Worth, Texas that have the lowest recidivism rate of any mm. ex-offender rehab in the country. And those programs haven't been shined lights on and spread to other jurisdictions. We live in a laboratory of democracy. Mm -hmm. We have thousands of jurisdictions and creative people everywhere doing amazing things, often never gets reported. So the twofold purpose of Citizen Portal is help us find the things that aren't right and get rid of those less than ideal mm -hmm. office holders. And then secondly, to find all the amazing things that are happening in our cities, counties, schools uh, that are good that could be replicated and spread to this other jurisdictions. This is the perfect progressive conservative website because I can find the things that are making progress that are good and I can preserve the things that are good from the past and jettison the ones that aren't. That's correct. It is an independent, nonpartisan. All Americans are invited. It'll be free for yeah. every citizen at the local and state level to find out what's going on. There are 62 million Americans that don't speak English as their primary language in their home. That's a pretty big audience. So AI can also, in the future, provide translations for things if someone is you know, needing to know uh, the, the population that has immigrated legally to the United States who needs to know what's going on. Now there's also one million naturalized citizens every year in the United States. Now I know lots of people that have been naturalized. They've sworn the oath. Mm -hmm. They have gone through the civic education that mm -hmm. most high school students don't get anymore. Well, they all fail. They love this country. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who's one of the top entrepreneurs in the United States. He founded Crumble Cookies. He's just become an American citizen in the last couple of years. I worked at Gallup in Washington DC for several years and several of our colleagues went through their naturalization process and we all celebrated together. They love this country. Everyone who lives here and is born here ought to recognize the blessing of mm -hmm. living in this great country and our opportunity to preserve that liberty for the future. Okay, so let's talk about, let's go with real life solution. Let's say I care about um, ESG or Agenda 2030 or uh, what's happening with, um, you know, transgender strip shows in, in my local area? Yep. Let's do a global search on citizenportal.ai, the homepage. I'm going to type in ESG. I'm going to hit enter. Anyone can go to citizenportal.ai and do this at home. And you'll get a nationwide heat map of how many times ESG has been mentioned in any of these public meetings. If I click on uh, view all results, it will then take me to a kind of a YouTube listing of all the videos, uh, not, not YouTube, but like YouTube, and with the transcript on the side. And hey, wait, 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 can you go back to the heat map for a second? Yes. Why was, uh, was that South Carolina? Yes, or South Dakota? Why is that blue? Uh, no, no mention of ESG in South Dakota's. Wow. In the government, uh, city, county, or state, videos that exist. Oh, now, that exists. we don't have a comprehensive data set yet. So sometimes, uh, like Utah, California, and Texas have the most videos. But as the video collection grows, you'll see the okay. heat map will fill and out. These are ingested into the system in real time. So if a meeting is happening the next day. As soon as it's posted to the YouTube channel or the Facebook page or the .gov website, our our um, RSS feed detector yeah. will upload it, transcribe it within minutes, and then it's searchable within minutes okay. after it's being publicly posted. All right, so take us now to the next page. So the next page will be the video 
thumbnail with the transcript and, and I can click through and, and then start watching. What's beautiful about this, Glenn, is it jumps me to that moment of the meeting. It might be a three hour meeting in the city council. Right. And the topic I want is two hours and 30 minutes in and I don't have to waste two hours. It jumps me right to that portion of the meeting where ESG is mentioned in this Trust case. Here's Marlo Oaks, the treasurer of Utah, testifying like on November 8th in Washington, D.C. about the problem of ESG. Investment managers have a fiduciary obligation to focus solely on creating... Fantastic. And it gives you the transcript underneath. It gives you the transcript. You can actually highlight a text and make a clip and share the clip on six social media channels. So citizens can not only be... Uh, becoming more informed, they can become citizen journalists themselves, finding and sharing clips on their social channels so family and neighbors can know what's going on on topics they care about. You also get this nice little chapterization of each video. So again, if there's a three-hour meeting, you just scroll through the chapters, click on one, and it jumps you to that moment of the meeting. So AI is really good at transcripts. AI is really good at summaries. AI is really good at helping you navigate a body of information. Wow. Now, I'm going to show you, Glenn, two things that we've never showed before because they didn't exist until the last few days. Um, I will show you this um, alert system that anyone can, well, if I click on my representatives, it will bring up all of my federal, state, local, all the people that I could have voted for or, mm -hmm. or were elected to represent me, uh, that's there. That's a free uh, service for You obviously for live in y Utah. I, I live now, in Missouri. I put, I put Orem, Utah, where I grew up oh, okay. because our rural Missouri County just doesn't have very much content. Okay, so wait. So this is showing you the latest of what they've done? It shows you clips from what they've done or what's been said about them or by them in the past. Yeah, so each one is like a, a little scrollable thing to find out what each of my elected officials is doing and saying. Wow. So, and, and that'll only get better. The My Alerts page allows you to take keywords. Like lithium is a really interesting new concept that I mm -hmm. learned about in the, in the last year or two, that there's a global supply issue with lithium for <laughs> EVs and batteries, and Africa and China are a big roadblock for us. And apparently Oregon has one of the largest lithium deposits on Earth that was recently discovered by geologists. And so I can find, I can put in a keyword, and every time the word lithium is mentioned, in any meeting in the United States, it will show me that. Now, if I'm a electric vehicle manufacturer or I'm into batteries, if that's my profession and I wanna do business with the government at some point, I'm gonna to wanna to sign up for alerts like this. Right, to find out. if you're an investor, you wanna do that. Yeah. If you're somebody who worries that we are gonna be buried by uh, China and Africa, and Africa really is China, yep then you want that alert. Do you remember um, the show Bruce Almighty, mm -hmm. where um, I think he had like a million simultaneous prayers coming in and he was oh, like, yeah, 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 Jim yeah. Carrey's trying to respond yeah. to all those prayers. I kind of feel like, you know, I don't want to get to cognitive overload, Yeah, which is why you have to be very selective about the issues you're going to put in your circle of influence. There's, there's just very little overall that you can do as a, as a citizen, but the things you can do and that you care about, you need to do. Um, and so these alerts will be very personalized. And the more people that start getting them, the more vigilance we... How much uh, do you have from all 50 states? Do you have the state rep and the Senate? We do have most of the state legislature committee hearings and annual sessions. We have uh, more and more breakout committees and bureaucratic institutions as well. We have about 600,000 hours of video from just the last two years. Uh, and this will grow into the millions. And... Uh, F, the uh, Fed? Oh, yes. Look at the Federal Reserve. Uh, we have Federal Reserve uh, announcements, FDIC, some Supreme Court, a lot of NASA. Um, and so we're, the goal is all video from public sources, government sources, ingested, transcribed, indexed, searchable, and then turned into GPTs that you as a citizen can ask a natural language question to and have it do all the analysis and come back and give you a report. Not making stuff up, not hallucinating like ChatGPT does, because it's just using language probabilities to guess what word can come after what word. Correct. We're actually d designing AI that's more like a perfectly knowledgeable, knowledgeable librarian than a creative writer that can go off the rails. Right. So the librarian GPT, so let me just show you these two new things. 
Citizen Portal GPT, what this does is it allows me to ask any question as if I were talking to chat GPT. I could say, find everything said about the opioid crisis and who caused it and how much money they made and what can be done sorry to solve this okay now that's just a big long phrase but i'm sending ai to go through every single one of those 600,000 hours to find out who and where have they been addressing the opioid crisis, the cause of it, and what can be done. And it will come back in a timeline format. It'll show me most recent oh my God. to the oldest material on this subject. Soon we'll be able to transpose that so you have the oldest to the newest. But here we go with the opioid crisis, um, a Senate debate from South Dakota. 75% uh, of drug overdose deaths in America involve at least one opioid. So I can, again, click on each of these things. But the summary that comes back, Glenn, this is like weeks worth of research. Oh, yeah. That now every this citizen... what legal clerks used to do. Exactly. And so every citizen now will have this tool to be able to, if they, uh, if they use that GPT, to be able to analyze, synthesize, and then get involved with the people in those places where those issues are being discussed. How do we, for instance, the Federalist Papers, what do you have on searching of documents besides the Declaration of Independence and Bill of Rights? And we do have the Federalist Papers. We, we have some original source materials from American history, not nearly as many as we need, but we need to fine tune the AI so that it actually understands when all those documents were written chronologically, what order. in what order, and what's the kind of genealogy of, of, our, of our thinking about freedoms and liberties. I, I just think we're about to be super empowered as citizens to have a very powerful collective intelligence that assists us in whatever quest we have. Now, this is just the citizen portal. Uh, we're also launching a faith portal to try to transcribe all the sermons given in the United States every week and also a family oh portal gosh. and a friend portal to help AI help you deepen your relationship with your family, deepen your relationship with your friends, and then a creator portal for people who want to produce and create. So there are lots of portals coming that will try to utilize AI to uplift humanity one part of our life at a time. What is your, what is your idea to how to deepen family relationships? Well, I took, uh, my wife and I have been married 35 years. Uh, we have eight kids. Uh, when you start talking about the four kids, yeah. I you know, almost teared up. I think about my youngest daughter was on, uh, we did a YouTube video when she was three. She was singing Battle Hymn of the Republic oh my God. off key. She modulated yeah. 17 times. A year later, somebody had uploaded a new video where they had accompanied her and changed keys on the on the keyboard. Oh my so gosh. what what you just showed with the muffin thing? Yeah, yeah. That was done in 2007 wow. with my daughter and I'm like I I listen to that every time I want to uh, pick so up. Great. Uh pick me up. So um but uh the the there are things like um five love languages per, for example or the Clifton Strengths Finder assessment that tells you the the ways of the patterns of thinking, feeling, behaving that you have and that your spouse has. And then, of course, there's therapy and, and other communication techniques. AI can take the best of those and help you learn to understand each other better and communicate better. Mm -hmm. On the friend portal, we're hoping to work with Gallup. They have one of the best uh, friend psychological assessments ever created to find out why is this person your friend and what role do they play in your life? And the research Gallup's done on friendship shows that every relationship we have breaks down when your expectations of someone does not align with what they're able to deliver. So misaligned expectations. So if you understand and appreciate how the other person is and how they act and behave, and you're grateful for the role they do play, but you don't expect them to play all the other roles. I, I just think wow. psychology, religion, science, citizenship, all those areas which lead us to either be thriving or suffering as humans, whether we're following the right principles, we're doing the right things, or we're not, we're about to enter into an AI arena where our health, our financial investment decisions, but, but it has to be owned by you, controlled by you, designed by you, not imposed 
by others on you. So the whole platform that's being built is a set of building blocks that allows you to design your citizen voter scorecard, your, how you want AI to help you with relationships, friendships, uh, at work, become a better leader, become a better manager. All of those things are just around the corner. I tell you, and that is, I mean, I just saw a debate and you probably have it on Citizen Portal uh, yesterday on the really spooky AI stuff that is, is coming. And the solution always is, give me the end user control. Yes. Show me your algorithm, give me control. So you're not in control of what information. This yeah. seems to be that. We've got a partnership with SHRM, the Society for Human Resources Management, to roll out what we call pure AI around the world in workplaces. And pure stands for personalized, uplifting, responsible, and ethical. But it has to put the control into your hands of what it is you want the AI to do for you. I mean, it's scary when you think about concentrated power, controlling information, and then designing AI that surveils us or that, you know, tells us what we have to do, when we have to do it. I mean, that, that is not an, a world that I want to live this in. This is control of an overwhelming world with, in, in control, in your control. Your control. And, and, and helps Your you. agency. Yeah. Your autonomy augmented by the most powerful tools that have ever been invented by computer scientists that allow you to design your best life and live your best life with assistance so, all along the way. Do you think you would be able to, at some point to, like um, when my show is uploaded on YouTube and Joe Rogan and everybody else, and it could transcribe and say, I'm interested in CBDC, and it could go give me all of the choices of people who are talking about CBDC? With permission from all the creators. That's right. where our creator portal.ai is going. Uh, everyone who has a YouTube channel or podcast who wants to participate in that, the transcription and the clipping will be automated. Then their listeners will be able to have a customized playlist of the things that they care about. So exactly, exactly what you said, that's just right around the corner. Unbelievable. Now, Citizen Portal is just so exciting to me. I love, I studied American history, poli sci, international relations, and I ended up getting a degree in Russian. Um, and I've watched what's happened to this country in the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wait, how did this happen? So the Citizen Portal is super important. Um, there are an op there's an opportunity at startengine.com slash Citizen Portal for any viewer, any listener to go invest in it and to learn about investing in and owning shares in in Citizen Portal at startengine.com right now. Uh, that's going on for uh, a, a little while. Um, and then everyone can not only uh, uh, become informed as a citizen, but even be a stakeholder in a platform that's designed to strengthen our republic. So is does it cost me anything to get to Citizen Portal and to use it? It's free. Citizenportal.ai is free for all American citizens at the local and state level. You get all the content from school board, city, county, and state content. Uh, there is a premium subscription available for Which will give you what? National. national. If you want to know what's going on in Oklahoma and West Virginia and every other part of the country, you, you pay a small subscription fee. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Appreciate Glenn. It. Citizenportal.ai. We'll see you next week.